Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Max Render Hot Tips. My name is James Common, I'm a Max Render Mentor at the University of Brown Center Design Technology. Today's Max Render Hot Tip will be looking at the little settings inside the interactive preview. These can often be used to speed up your workflow, but a lot of the time they are ignored, so let's have a look at them now. This is the scene that I'll be working with today, and now I'm just going to go over some of the useful tools inside the interactive preview. First of all, obviously, if I hold down Alt on the keyboard and left click and drag in the viewport, I'll orbit around my scene and the interactive preview will update accordingly. But what I can also do is alt and left click and drag in the interactive preview and the interactive preview will update but the camera won't move so what I can actually do is have a quick look around my scene without moving my camera. This is useful sometimes for if you just want a quick look around but you don't actually want to move your camera. If you find a view that you do actually really like you can right click in the interactive preview and select set camera view. This will change the position of your camera to reflect what it sees in the interactive preview. But then of course you must remember to right click in the viewport and select autofocus. If you find that the interactive preview is going a bit too slowly for your taste, you can change the settings. Either go to options in the menu, or you can right click in the interactive preview and then select settings. If I want my interactive preview to be a little bit faster, I can sacrifice quality for speed, turn down my sampling level, and turn down my quality. And then when it next updates, the interactive preview should be a lot faster. But the actual quality that it will reach will be lower. And finally, don't forget that if you do find a view that you really, really like, you can go to Options or right click and select Save Image. And you can quickly and easily save the interactive preview image for reference later on. There's more to the interactive preview than meets the eye, and these options can save you an awful lot of hassle. Thanks very much for watching. Any questions or suggestions, email me at maximumindobrightontv.gmail.com or tweet me at jcom underscore design. Thanks very much. I'll see you again soon.